Hello my dirty friends and just in case you've not been here before my name is Stephen and I'd like to share with you my dirty hobbies metal detecting, mudlarking and some of the stuff that I make from some of the crap that I dig up. Now it's not always crap I mean this is just assemblage I believe it's called where you just put unrelated things together I just soldered that together and give it a coat of paint. Yesterday I did this one and just a little beastie with a wobbly head and I'm not quite sure what he is but he can be whatever your imagination allows it to be but today it's about metal detecting and a little bit of a clue I found something really really nice in this video and I didn't think I was going to find anything at all until this popped up and I'll give you a clue this is what connected for the first time the UK with the USA what on earth could it be earth Hmm. Anyway, I'm tucked into this little corner out of the wind just so I can do the introduction to the video but it really is very 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 windy. This is now officially my highest permission in Yorkshire. The landscape is amazing. A lot of it you can't swing a coil over. That is really high. It's a very very steep climb and there's some more land over the top. So we've got all this and we've got loads more over this wall uh, or about four times the size of this over the wall there to the right. Um, natural wildlife here is amazing. Foxes, deer, birds of prey. It's just fantastic. Today I have on my first dig found something which I've yet to be identified. Oh I got that on the second dig. It's got a hallmark on it. It's, it could be um, ENPS. Um, what did I find? Here we go. See if you got better eyes than me. That was my first dig. Can you see anything on there? Not sure what it says. I'll identify that later when I've cleaned it up. It's a nice little pin and the silver spoon. Wow, look at that for a lovely button. I've never seen one like that before. Superb! That came out a lovely 82 on the dais. piece of field pipe I think. A half crown, 1950, George the sixth. Well I've just wandered all the way up there and there ain't no there. This track here is a drover's road and also goes through there. Now that bit is not our permission, it stops down the bottom here. So We've walked all the way up there, followed the drover's road up over the hill, and nothing. And this little field here is really quiet too. But I've just managed to bring up a halfpenny, and that one's Edward the Seventh. Well, I think I've just found my first whistle. Could that be a whistle? I think so. Well, sometimes there's just no explaining what we find, is there? Look at that. A little tiny camel with a rider on. Looks Arabian, doesn't it? You can see it's um, like gilded. Strange. No markings or anything on it, so I have no idea. Oh, I've ju just dug that piece of lead up. It's quite thick. 
slightly concave on the bottom, but it's got a scar on the top. So I have no idea what that was. Well, that's a really heavy lump of lead. It's obviously got some iron in it. I think there was a, an eye through there at one time. Um, I thought that was a hole at the bottom, but it's not. I think possibly that's where the bottom of the iron is. But it's really heavy, so it's definitely lead, and it's white lead. Fabulous. And there's a huge buckle I've just dug up. That gave a cracking signal. And I've just found that, and I've opened it all up to see if it works, and it does. Little scissors still work. That blade was a bit sticky to get out. That one was already open. It's been sharpened quite a bit, isn't it? And that was six to seven inches deep, right at the bottom there. And that's Georgia Fifth Penny. Lovely jubbly. I don't know what that is, but I don't know. Heavy. Probably copper or brass. You can see where I clipped it there. It's got a copper colour coming through rather than a brassy colour. No idea. It's not much, but it's another coin anyway. Well, I think that could be a harness buckle, don't you? It's big enough. Probably. <laughs> well, another strange little object. Um, no idea what it is. I've just dug this. I don't know what it is, but it looks lovely. I can see uh, gems in there. Interesting. All right, it's in the hole. Oh, I can see it already. Hang on. Look, here we go. What's it? Is it gone? Here we go. Oh. That's Britannia, facing right. Yeah, it's a Victoria Bunhead. Hapenny. No, it's not in the hole. It's in the plug. Right. See, we're about in the plug. And I can confidently say it's in the not, not in the top inch. So, forgive me, don't squirm if I cut the top off. Shouldn't do any damage to the target because it's not there. Well, that's definitely there. Let me just check the other side. Sometimes I do that with a loud signal. Ha! Ah! So it wasn't very deep. Can probably find it from this side. Oh, I did. Look. A pound coin! <laughs> Sometimes with a signal that loud, I do check with the probe first before cutting the turf. Okay, here we go. Sounds like a, a copper tone to me. Hang on. Look. Hmm, that's decorative. From what I can see. I don't want to damage it. Careful. Careful. What is it? Oh, look. Oh. A horse brass. So it's obviously brass, not copper. That's lovely. I really like that. Obviously it's nothing special, it's just an ordinary horse brass. It's a loud signal. Very loud. Might I like that. A bit like that co oh. copper. Hang on. That way. That's in not bad condition at all, is it? Lovely Victoria. This one's throwing a 77 at me with a very good quality signal. Unbroken, perfect pitch. I'd probably say it's my best signal yet, but I've had some very close and they've been lead, so. Send right, the plug again. Uh, 
Right, so we know it's roughly there. Not deep. Right, it's in here. Come on, what are you? Let me just turn this coil off, uh, probe off. It's a shame that the top of the thimble's gone. Oh, that's a beauty, is it not? Oh, very happy with that. Now I'll assume it's silver, there's no guarantee it is. It certainly looks like silver. I can do the silver test on it later. Isn't it fortunate that I happened to say to you this sounds like my best signal yet? Uh, throwing a lovely quality tone at the 70 at me, um, where I've had similar ones which have given me lead. So I'm glad I mentioned that. Uh, that target was a nice button with a floral design on. I just dug a 91 very high pitch and I swore it was going to be a big lump of iron, but it was actually this lump of lead. I wonder what it was originally. Well, I think that was probably a wheel off a child's toy. What would you say about that? I, I think that's what it was, but that piece of silver. Now, it was, as you saw on the screen, a, um, a, sim, a silver, th you try saying that, a silver thimble to commemorate the very first transatlantic cable that was laid on the bottom of the ocean from this side of the world over to America, enabling us to connect. And I've actually seen the little brick building, it's only small, where the end of the cable on this side of the Atlantic was connected. Amazing, absolutely, totally amazing. And I was thrilled to find that piece, probably my find of the day. So if you enjoyed the video and you're still watching this, which means you must have done, please leave a th thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe you'll consider doing so. And if you do, then maybe you'll get a few more surprises coming your way during this lockdown as I find some more pieces of footage which are underseen or haven't been seen at all. And I'll present them to you. So I'll catch you later. Keep safe. And remember, try and keep a smile on. Steven is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Oh, oh. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Oh, oh. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old.